Hey everyone, this is Coach D and Noah. Today we're talking defense. If you are a brand new coach or you have new players on your team, how do you coach and train defense? Do they just magically happen, Noah? No. No, no. It takes some time, skill, etc. First tip, do less talking and more showing. Pre-K all the way up to eighth grade. Noah, do they even like know what's going on when I start talking? Nope. Nope, not at all. Put your your formation out here in cones. For example, on my clipboard here, I've drawn it out. A middle linebacker about three yards off the line of scrimmage. Another middle linebacker here. This is going to be number three. I've got two cornerbacks, number two and number four, and then I've got five. Now, if I sat here and I did this, and I was like, okay, here's where you gotta be, and da 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 da, would that really register? No. Would you have any idea what the hell I was talking about? Nope. Nope, you sure wouldn't. So let's do that out on the field. Another way that I can show them how to do it, and I'm just talking to you, coach, we have a brand new wristband playbook for our defense. Noah and I, we always use our wristbands for our play calling. Now you can use it for defense as well. I'm out on the field. I can look at my wristband. I am number one. Okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is how big my zone is. That's another way that you can show and use it as a tool. And then one of our favorites, especially for new players, is one per page. Mapped out here on the field, it looks exactly like this. And we have six V6 and seven V7. So then I can go like this, watch. All right, now here's the line of scrimmage. You see the ball right there? Yep. Cool, you're gonna be number one. You are in charge of this entire front area. See these little circles right here? Okay, that's called a zone. What that means is you are gonna make sure that you pull flags of anyone who comes within this zone. Got it? Got it. Now go out there and then they go run out. And then I go to the next person and I'm like, all right, you're gonna be number three. That means you're in the middle. You're gonna be stopping. You see that cone out there? Yeah. That's number three. You are gonna be what's called a middle linebacker. You need to make sure that da 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 da, right? So I am, and this is your zone, right? Now, number two, you are what's called a cornerback. That's because you have really good hands. You're kind of fast. You're pretty solid on the edge here. You're going to watch this entire area all the way to what's called the sideline. You see that cone right there? Yeah. Everything on that side right here is you. Got it? Got it. Same thing over here. Boom, 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 boom. Same exact conversation. Now, number five, this is, you're a monster. You're like the fastest. You have the best like field awareness I've ever seen and you've got this speed, you can go everywhere. So I'm gonna put you all the way in the back. Now it's your job to go all the way across the field and make sure that no one goes, no, no ball is thrown behind you, right? That is all you. Got it? Got can it. you handle it? Yep. All right, go out there. Now, once we've established a zone, then what we want to do is four things. We're going to walk the zone, we're going to shuffle within the zone, we're going to backpedal in the zone, pursue from the zone. Let's do all four of those. So you're over here, number three, you're what's called that middle linebacker, right? So you're in charge of that area. Go ahead and walk your zone. I want to stand facing front, yep, keep forward, and I'm just walking my zone so I understand, especially making sure that I understand where the line is and I understand where, okay. So this entire part, right? So how many times do they not know their assignment? How, where do you like cover and where do I, what? So we are walking our zones, just doesn't have to be slow-mo, but we're starting to communicate. We get it, we understand, okay? Now I know where you are, got it. Now we're gonna shuffle within our zone. So if I am covering someone, I want to make sure, so you can have this free form, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. If you wanted to do something like this, follow the ball. Noah, get on your three, follow the ball. If you wanted to do something like this, I want you to shuffle following the ball. Ready, go. Yep. And you see now you're out of your zone, right? Yeah. So now, now come forward, go back. Shuffle, shuffle, right? You can do that. Now let's do backpedaling. So let's say same exact thing. You can go backpedal, go back. Yep, front, back, front. Cool. You want to get them comfortable with this backpedaling thing, especially on my cornerbacks. I want to be like, I want to get very comfortable doing my, my backpedaling all the way from the top of my zone. 
So now let's do it just free form. When I say free form, that's kind of, you're not telling them what to do. They can kind of learn and experiment on their own, but I can teach them the back pedal real quick, give them the nice form, and then they can just practice getting comfortable in their zone back pedaling, all right? And then finally we pursue. Now let me show you something about pursuit. Noah, go ahead and stay on your three. And what I can do is I can have a line of running backs right behind me. And then I can run and I can call, let's say, number three if I want to do it one at a time. And I want three to understand where are they going to pursue the ball once it crosses the line of scrimmage. So let's show them good form and then we'll show them bad form. This is pursuit, good form. I get the ball. Okay, now Noah, what are you doing right here? I'm running straight across and meeting you where you're going to go. That's right. So he is meeting me where I'm going to be, right? So what that drill does is it says, he's not coming at me like this angle. He's running, where am I going to be? And what I can do as a coach is I can call three and then he does that. Then I call four, right? For the next running back and then four. Let's practice you at four. Now let's show bad form. If I am a running back, I get the ball show bad form. Ready, go. Uh-oh, what happened, Noah? I went where you were at that exact moment. Yeah, so he went to where I was instead of pursuing. So that's just an easy way to get them to not only understand where their zone is, but once the, the ball crosses the line of scrimmage, then how do they pursue from their zone? Come on up, bud. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is rushing. Now, Noah, you are our rusher. Usually, you have to rush from seven yards. In this formation, we have three options. Noah, get on three real quick. First of all, Noah needs to have a clear path to the quarterback. Right here, do you have a clear path? No. So what would you have to do? Move over. Move over to one side or the other. Now, how do you decide which side you're going to rush from? First, I have to look at the quarterback's like good side, and then I rush from his good side. Okay, so he's saying something pretty important, and this is something you can do with your rushers as well. Let's say I'm a quarterback, and when I roll out, I roll out this way. Noah, what would you want to do? He would run a rush from that side. Why would you want to do that? Because so I'm blocking off their good side so they're forced to go on their bad side. Okay, so he wants to basically cut off my strong side so he's going to come from this angle and that would force me to go my weak side. So when you're deciding who's going to rush and how they're going to rush, you want to look at the quarterback's strong and weak side. And you want to cut them off and push them toward their weak side. Not only can Noah rush, but then also, can that person rush? Yes. Yes. Can this person rush? Yes. Yeah, because they're at seven yards. so. Let's say I wanted to rotate it so that the quarterback has no idea. You've been rushing three times in a row, and I'm just kind of sitting back here, and I wanted to rush. You and I would communicate. We'd be like, all right, you're rushing, I'm rushing. Okay, I'm going to rush this time. Cool. Okay. All right. So then I would rush at this point, and Noah, at that point, if I'm rushing, what are you doing? I'm taking over your zone. Oh my gosh, come on up here. Did you hear what he just said? He just said something critical. In this defense playbook, have you, you looked at my playbook? I get it. In the playbook, it actually says, okay, if you're rushing, let's say three, three is rushing, then four has to scoot over, right? And now their zone becomes bigger. So you have to make sure, Noah just said a, an awesome point, Let's say this two over here is going to rush. He's number three. What do you have to do? I have to move over to, and get his lane too. That's right. Otherwise, if he's just sticking on his zone, you got a wide open situation over here. So see how easy it is to communicate with this. And then out there on the field, you're showing them exactly how to do it. Noah, a couple things that we've learned today. Number one, we're going to show versus tell that means you put it out here on the field then you can either use your clipboard your wristband or your one per page if you're using let's say you have three new people maybe even a whole new team 
I would do the one per page. Is that what you recommended? Yeah. Yeah, I thought the one per page was pretty nice. This is the one per page, and again, it could be 6v6, 7v7, but that's, I can pretty quickly show you the details here. And then what I can do, Noah, is while you're out here, let's say you're number one, I can show you your, your zone. Your zone goes all the way over here, all the way over there, and it goes three yards back. So watch this, three yards back. So this entire area is yours. Do you see that? Right, so then if let's say, Noah, we changed up the formation, if we change the formation and all of a sudden I had two come down here and now we had two people here, you would understand how to adjust based off of this. Also, we learned our four things we wanna do within a zone. Do you remember any of them? Four things we're gonna do once we know our zone. Shuffle. Yep. Backpedal. Backpedal. Walk the zone. Yes, walk the zone. And. Purse. Purse. Pursue. Pursue. <laughs> you probably don't know that word, but pursue, that just means where they're going, right? Where they're going. If I'm five, you know, do I cut them off this way or do I go to where they're going? So that was a nice drill that, that, uh, that helped us out as well. And then finally, we talked about rushing. And in the playbook, Noah, what I do is I outline for each one of these players and each one of these positions, who should they put in each position? Strong flag pullers up front, who should be in the back? That's usually the person with strong field awareness. They're fast, right? They can go across the entire field. Right, so all those little secrets and tips I've put into the, the playbook. Another thing that, that Noah really enjoyed was if I had, let's say everybody out there. So let's say you're out there. Go on number three. So check this out. There's something called test your defense, right? And you have all your players out in their position, right? You have a line of running backs back here. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to now just go right? And they have to now work together to try to pull my flag. Let's see if he can do it. Here we go. Uh oh! <laughs> Bring it, baby. Let's try it again. Go to number two. Now this is a good way to test who's good at what position. Ready, go! <laughs> Man! No, I didn't know. He didn't know he's out here to play. He didn't know he's out here to play. Alright, let's go, uh, yeah, one. Let's go one. Ready, go! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here, you know, I'll be five. Let's see what you got. Are oh, you coming right at me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. Sorry. So that's one for running, and then for passing, what you can do is you can have a couple wide receivers out here, and then you can pass and see how they defend within their zones, right? And then you can test. Okay, there's breakdown right here. When they do a, a cross pattern, it all gets messed up. Or if they do a post on this side, it's really weak. So I can start to identify what part of my defense is like, not getting it, not getting it. Be a uh, wide receiver. Now watch when Noah runs a post how many different zones he's gonna pass through. You gotta think about this kind of stuff and identify where do I need a little extra coaching and mentorship. And if you're gonna have a combination of certain players, you're gonna need strong with some weak, that's all right. But if you have a bunch of weaker players, newer players, they're gonna be able to blow you up. So this will also help you identify who goes when and where. Let's go. Post that way. Ready, go. Terrible throw. Terrible throw. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. That? that was absolute. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. Ready, go. There we go. Okay, so you saw that that went within one, then it crossed into three, then it kind of went to five. So five should have been all over that. Try the other way. Try this one. Now check this out. Come over. Okay, now check this out. He's going to do a corner route. Ready, go. Okay, so that could have been five. 
Let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's gonna do a corner route and let's see which zone he's going to be in. Ready, go. Okay, if he could catch, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Let's try that again. Ready, go. Okay, so that is, if it's a short corner, then that's going to be two. Or if it's a little bit deeper, then that's five. So thinking about if you're using a zone coverage like this, where does two, do they just keep going back, right? Or here's something to think about. If I have two wide receivers going at the same time, which side should five go to and if five is going to go to this side let's say then two needs to go back so these are things that you're going to just need to think about or adjust during the game based off of who you're playing all right let's do a few more routes let's see what you got oh i fly ready go okay okay that would have been five five would have attacked that intercepted that all day long let's do a, a, a quick slant right across ready go Okay, that would have been one. Let's do an out pattern on this side. And I'm telling you, you already know who it's gonna be. Ready, you go. So that's in between one and four. One and four. So that's like right there at the edge. So understanding those and making sure that you do a few of those uh, reps so that they understand where their zone is in real time is critical. Uh, let's go in. Ready, go check that out so that's an in that's going right across three but it also is somewhat one so you just need to make sure again that you're knowing who's covering what and when nice let's just do a couple others let's do a corner that way ready go oh come on baby what was that you cutting that that was perfect that was, that was perfect pass. that's like you saying that's a perfect pass. <laughs> that's terrible <laughs> the worst pass of the day all right let's do a corner again all right, let's try a corner route. Ready, go. Okay, okay, all right. Nice. Fly. Ready, fly, ready, go. Now look, if I'm gonna throw it like that, it's gonna make defense very, very easy. All right, so make sure you also check out the other videos that have some of the basics about breaking down, getting big, you know, pulling flags, all of that. Uh, how to cover a fast receiver. All those videos are available. Go to the defense playlist and that's where you'll find those. All right, Noah, that's it. We're done, dude. Good job. Thanks for helping out. He gets 10 bucks for this. That's cool. I'll take it. I don't get anything. That's fine. All right, look, this is Coach D and Noah. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, and share. Anything else? Notification. Notification. You got to crush the bell and click all so you never miss a video. Look, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.